Hello everyone. This is a video on how to work around iWeb's default URL. Assuming you have uploaded your website to your host, be it an FTP host like Mac Highway or GoDaddy or even to iDesk from your mobile me account, this workaround should work for you. If you are using a host like Mac Highway, you will need a FTP client like Fetch, FileZilla, or CyberDuck. In this case, we are using CyberDuck for the purposes of this tutorial. We are also using the domain name escobountain.com. Esco is a dancehall reggae artist from Nigeria. Now, iWeb by default changes your domain name when you go to search for it in your web browser, like so. In fact, you'll see it will change your domain name.com to domain name.com slash your underscore domain dot html. Why is this a factor or why do you care? Well, for two reasons. One, you, you paid for your domain name and you know you want your clients or fans to just be able to go to that and see just that. Also, if you're trying to share your page on Facebook, you will notice that Facebook does not necessarily interpret that redirect and you'll get your host's default page, something like this. So here's the workaround. If you have an iDisk, go to your website's folder, like so. Open your iDisk, go to the folder called Web, click on that, then go to the folder called Sites, then click on the folder that is your domain name. Once you do that, you will notice there is an index.html page as well as your domains.html page. You'll also notice that they have different file sizes. What you're going to do is drag your domains.html page out onto the desktop. Change that name to index.html. Then drag the index.html page back into your iDisk folder or into your FTP clients folder, whichever you happen to be using. Now, this will take a few mo moments for everything to refresh, but when you go back to your web browser, you will now notice that everything should work. I hope this helps. Please also search for my video regarding Facebook debugging cache. This will help you fix the problem that you may have caused by putting in the wrong redirect into Facebook. So hopefully that video will help you as well.